10 Self-Defense Strategies Every Woman Needs to Know. Hey everybody, it's your name, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about something super important, self-defense for women. Unfortunately, we live in a world where it's absolutely essential for women to be able to protect themselves. Now this video isn't about fear-mongering, it's about empowerment. It's about giving you the tools and knowledge to feel safer and more confident in your everyday life. These 10 self-defense strategies can help you in a variety of situations, from a potential assault to just feeling more secure walking home alone at night. This is about taking control of your safety and being prepared for whatever life throws your way. So let's jump right in. Okay, first up, let's talk about situational awareness. This is like self-defense 101 people. It's the foundation of keeping yourself safe in any environment. It's all about being present and aware of your surroundings. You need to be in the moment, not distracted by your phone or other devices. Think of it like this. You're constantly scanning your environment for potential threats, kind of like a superhero with heightened senses. Imagine you have a radar that picks up on anything unusual. What does that look like in real life? It means being observant and noticing the details around you. It means not walking around with your face buried in your phone. Instead, keep your head up and be aware of your surroundings. It means paying attention to who's around you and what's going on. Trust your gut. If something or someone feels off, don't ignore that feeling. If something feels off, it probably is. Your intuition is a powerful tool, so listen to it. Don't be afraid to make eye contact with people. It shows them you see them. This can deter potential threats because they know you're alert. Walk with purpose and confidence even if you don't feel it. Your body language can make a big difference in how you're perceived. And if you're ever feeling unsafe, trust your instincts and remove yourself from the situation. It's better to be safe than sorry. Remember, the best way to avoid a dangerous situation is to prevent it from happening in the first place. Choose well-lit paths and avoid isolated areas. Be aware, be alert, be safe. Your safety is in your hands, so make sure you're always prepared and vigilant. Next up, let's talk about the power of your voice. Verbal assertiveness can be a powerful self-defense tool. It's about setting boundaries and communicating clearly and confidently. If someone is making you uncomfortable, don't be afraid to speak up. Use a firm, clear voice and tell them to back off. Practice saying things like stop or leave me alone, so it comes out naturally if you ever need to use it. Remember, you have the right to set boundaries and to be treated with respect. Don't be afraid to assert yourself. Your voice can be your greatest weapon. Now let's talk about getting creative. You'd be surprised what you can use for self-defense in a pinch. Look around you right now. What do you see? That pen in your hand? Instant weapon. Keys? Major damage inflictor? Hairspray? Hello, pepper spray substitute? You get the idea. The point is, anything can be a weapon if you know how to use it. A rolled up magazine can be used to strike an attacker. A heavy book can be thrown to create a distraction. Get creative and think about how you can use everyday objects to your advantage. Remember, in a self-defense situation, you have to be willing to fight back with whatever you've got. Chapter 4. Level up your skills, self-defense training. Okay, this one is huge. If you're serious about self-defense, you need to invest in some proper training. I'm talking about taking a self-defense class or martial arts. Think of it like this. You wouldn't expect to be able to run a marathon without training, right? Self-defense is the same way. You need to learn the techniques and practice them regularly. There are so many amazing self-defense classes out there, from Krav Maga to Jiu Jitsu to Muay Thai. Find one that interests you and just go for it. Not only will you learn valuable self-defense skills, but you'll also get in amazing shape and boost your confidence. It's a win-win. Chapter five, breaking free, escaping common holds. Now let's talk about what to do if an attacker tries to grab you. It's a situation no one wants to be in, but being prepared can make all the difference. The first few seconds are crucial, so you need to be prepared to react quickly and decisively. Your immediate response can determine the outcome of the encounter. One of the most important things is to stay calm and don't panic. Keeping a clear head allows you to think and act more effectively. Easier said than done, I know, but trust me on this one. Practicing mindfulness and breathing techniques can help you stay composed under pressure. When you panic, you freeze up, and that's the last thing you want to do in a self-defense situation. Freezing can make you an easier target for your attacker. 
Remember, your goal is to break free from the attacker's grasp and create space to escape. Creating distance gives you a better chance to get away safely. There are a few different techniques you can use depending on where you're being grabbed. Each technique is designed to exploit the weaknesses in the attacker's hold. For example, if someone grabs your wrist, you can use a quick twist and pull to break free. This move leverages the natural weakness in the grip. If they grab you from behind, you can stomp on their foot or elbow them in the face. These actions can cause enough pain to make them release you, giving you a chance to escape. Regular practice of these techniques can build muscle memory, making your reactions more instinctive. Training with a partner can simulate real-life scenarios and improve your confidence. Always remember, the primary goal is to get away and find safety. Your life is the most important thing, so don't hesitate to use these techniques to protect yourself. Chapter 6. Tools of Empowerment, Self-Defense Tools All right, let's talk about self-defense tools. These tools are designed to give you an edge in a dangerous situation providing you with a means to protect yourself when you need it most. Now, it's important to remember that these tools are just that, tools. They are not a substitute for awareness and good judgment, but they can certainly enhance your ability to defend yourself. They're not a magic solution, but they can be a valuable addition to your self-defense arsenal. Think of them as part of a comprehensive strategy to keep yourself safe. One of the most popular self-defense tools is pepper spray. It's small, easy to carry, and can be very effective in deterring an attacker by causing temporary blindness and discomfort. It's small, easy to carry, and can be very effective in deterring an attacker. However, it's crucial to understand its limitations and ensure it's legal to carry in your area. If you do decide to carry pepper spray, make sure you know how to use it properly. Read the instructions carefully and familiarize yourself with its operation. Practice using it in a safe environment so you're comfortable with it if you ever need to use it for real. This practice can make a significant difference in a high-stress situation. Other self-defense tools include personal alarms, coubatons, and tactical pens. Each of these tools has its own unique advantages and can be used in different scenarios. Do your research and find what works best for you. Consider factors like ease of use, portability, and effectiveness when making your choice. And remember, the most important tool you have is your own mind and body. Stay aware of your surroundings, trust your instincts, and be prepared to act if necessary. Your confidence and preparedness are your best defenses. Chapter seven, distance is your friend, maintaining safe space. This one might seem obvious, but it's so important. Maintain a safe distance from potential attackers. Remember that personal space bubble we talked about earlier? This is where it comes in handy. If someone is making you uncomfortable, put some distance between you and them. Cross the street, move to a different area or step behind a physical barrier if possible. Remember, you don't owe anyone your time or attention. If someone is making you feel unsafe, trust your instincts and remove yourself from the situation. You know what they say, actions speak louder than words. And that's definitely true when it comes to self-defense. Your body language can make you more or less of a target to potential attackers. Remember that confident walk we talked about earlier? That's key. Stand tall, make eye contact, and walk with purpose. Project an aura of confidence, even if you don't feel it on the inside. On the flip side, avoid looking like an easy target. Don't walk around with your head down or your shoulders slumped. And don't be afraid to make eye contact with people. It shows them you see them and you're not afraid. We've already talked about the power of verbal assertiveness, but your voice can be a powerful tool in other ways too. If you're being attacked, don't be afraid to yell for help. Scream, shout, make as much noise as you can. The goal is to attract attention from anyone who might be nearby and scare off the attacker. Remember, there's no shame in asking for help. Your safety is more important than your pride. Okay, last but definitely not least, let's talk about the most important weapon of all, your mindset. Having a self-defense mindset is all about believing in your ability to protect yourself. It's about being prepared, both mentally and physically, to face a potential threat. It's about knowing your strengths and weaknesses and being willing to fight back if necessary. Remember, you are stronger than you think. You have the power to protect yourself. Cultivate a self-defense mindset and know that you are capable of handling whatever life throws your way. So there you have it. 
10 Self-Defense Strategies That Every Woman Needs to Know. Remember, these strategies are most effective when practiced regularly. Make self-defense a part of your routine, just like going to the gym or brushing your teeth. If you're interested in learning more about self-defense, there are tons of resources available online and in your community. Check out local self-defense classes, martial arts studios, or even online tutorials. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel for more awesome content, and share this video with all the strong women in your life. Stay safe, stay empowered, and I'll see you in the next one.